All right, folks, the band is back together. It's the John and Molly show. John Moore from the Bureau of Workmen's Comp. Uh, you know, you got to, with that kind of, uh, you know, business, the BWC, you know, it's not the most thrilling. It's kind of like at the Oscars when they bring out the, the they announce the accounting firm. So I really needed to up your, your uh, intro there. Um, and you've got the, the beard is filling in. That looks great. That's right. Excellent. Really so there is um, some new news that can help small businesses. Um, and I thought that, it, it, you know, we should just get it straight from the horse's mouth. Not that I'm calling you a horse. Um, but uh, so tell us what's going on over there at the BWC. You guys are busy. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like as we talked a few months ago, it seems like, the, uh, the evolution of changes and, and things that the Bureau is trying to do to help employers out seems to evolve. And, uh, you know, if you remember back in this, you know, when we first started this thing off a couple weeks ago, or, well, it's almost a couple months now. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. You know, we first started off with the policy deferments, and then it turned into the, the dividend rebate checks. And so there's another phase that's kind of coming out. Well, it's coming out. Or, and it's out, um, but it's another strategy, I think, for employers to, um, again, take a look at their policies to make sure that they're not overpaying premium or they're not reporting payroll that isn't necessarily uh, reportable. Um, and I realize this, I mean, workers' compensation is not the most uh, exciting part of a business. However, it is a part of the pie, and if you could save a few bucks, um, I think it's worth at least looking into. And what I've been talking to employers about, especially over the last few months, is at the very least, what I think employers should do is reach out to their employer service specialist with the BWC or your third party administrator and just spend 10 to 15 minutes to review your policy and see if any, any of these situations apply to you. And the, the two newer ones that came out. Um, are regarding payroll. Um, I know some employers um, out of the, you know, their, their own benevolence and they're, they're caring for their employer employees. Uh, what they would do is, you know, they just pay their employees. Um, even though they were not working, um, they were doing that to obviously support those uh, employees. So uh, what we've done is we've stated that so as of the date of the governor's announcement of the state home rule, which was March 15th, that any payroll associated with that, um, so if I sent somebody home, I'm paying them, but they're not working, then you as the employer, you do not have to report that payroll. So when you go to true up, make sure that you do not report that payroll if you don't need to. Now, obviously everything, with government and all that kind of stuff, make sure you document it. Yes. Yes. But, <laughs> but as long as you have that documented in case you were ever audited, you have that back up there for you. So the time frame is going to go from March 15th until the point when the governor declares there's no more emergency or they come back to their regular job. Now, one exception to this to make sure you don't, you know, if you, if I have an employee though, that let's say they would, you know, go home for two days, but they'd work at my office for three and you still paid them the entire time, you still have, and then you have to report the entire payroll. So you can't break it up. This is specifically for employers that sent their folks home, not paying or paid them, but they're not working. So again, this is where, again, if you have questions, reach out to me, your TPA, we can explain it for you. I mean, that's, I, we have heard a, a lot of um, employers uh, tell me that they did do that, mm -hmm. um, you know, that they did, they, they care about their staff and, and they sent them home, but they're closed. Um, it was a lot of retail, I think, yes. um, that took, so that's great information. What else you got, John? Right. So the, the second thing that you can do as an employer is... If I were, let's just say in a, let's say in the plastics manufacturing world and, you know, I have somebody working in the shop and they're working on that machine 
and you know this announcement was wait, made working from home and you decided that well okay you're not working on the machine but you can work from home but you're doing a different role within the company um, you know maybe you're contacting clients or you know you're, you're teleworking then what you can do is you can call you got to call either the 1-800 number at 1-800 Ohio BWC uh, or there's a website here and I think it's on that uh, sheet here but it's RTS class at Ohio BWC dot com RTS class at Ohio BWC dot com and folks what, I will have it right there excellent and um, what you do there is you can request to have manual class code 8871 added on to your policy so what that means to you is the base rate for 8871 is much less than that manual class probably under 4484 so any payroll that was pay paid while they're teleworking that's going to reduce premiums for the 2019 year so again this is just another tool that you can use now again now let's just say now i know some this has come up to me a couple of times well I have that person in human resources that they're working at the office and then they went home to work at the, you know, at their home office. Well, they're essentially doing the same thing. So those folks cannot change to 8871. But in those situations where it's a completely different job that you had somebody doing that they couldn't do, um, you know, at the, at the, uh, at the main office, then you can make those changes. So um, I would say those are the two biggest things that employers can do right now. Um, or like I said, the, the reporting part, the 8871, you call now and ask for it. Don't assume it's going to happen or just add it on, it true up. I would do it now. Um, and then the, the, no report, the no reporting of wages, you can do that at true up. And do you, so like for instance, the chamber, uh, mm -hmm. we have a payroll company um, and they handle everything for us, including um, stuff with um, BWC. Would I contact them and say, listen, this, you know, and I, I don't think that we would apply on, on any of these things, although we are both working from home, uh, we're still carrying on the same duties as we were at the office. We're just doing it from home right so I don't think you know it's not like we've done it we're, we're doing a different job like you're right. saying yeah this is specifically for people that are doing completely different so give work. an example to that so that would be for instance I know that one of our members uh, the mints company they're a window company and um, since they were shut down they then started making masks from home Okay. So that so now, would be something like that. So now, now in that, and this, this is um, addressed in this as well, but there's a special uh, manual classification. Let me see if I have it here real quick. Um, there is, uh, I don't have it here right now, but there, in that situation, there, there's a manual classification for mask making, but mm -hmm. it's still less. They would change it to that. 8871 is somebody that's, at home, teleworking, you know, making phone calls, light duty office work kind of thing. There is a special code for uh, mass making, but okay. they could change that as well. But that you're absolutely right to reach out to your payroll company and they will know how to make those changes. Just have but, a conversation because you never know what benefit will fall under, you know, just explain to either right. the, the BWC or your payroll what, how you have adjusted during this. Exactly. And we had, and those are some of the modifications that we've made. Either, like I said, changing manual classifications or not reporting payroll. Um, one other thing too is, you know, if I had somebody that reported uh, pay um, under the Family First Coronavirus Response Act. So if I was, you know, had somebody fall under that from what is it from April first through December thirty first of twenty twenty that payroll won't be reportable either. So this is the time if you're not 
you know, this is, you know, because there's so many changes, again, this is why, yeah, you reach out to your payroll companies and your TPAs and say, okay, how can I make this work best for me? And these are our changes. And does any of this apply to me? That's awesome. That's, that's, uh, you know, it, it, like you said, it's not huge money, but it, $5 is huge money right now for some of these small businesses. Absolutely. I always say money's relative. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like you said, yeah, $50 it makes a difference. There's no reason um, for us to keep it if we don't need it. You need it. Yep. Take advantage of these. And that's what I do for employers is try to come up with these strategies to, um, you know, best, best help you, you the employer. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, John, thanks for keeping us uh, apprised on what's going on at uh, the BWC. And, and we appreciate all the hard work you guys are doing to make sure that uh, small businesses and businesses uh, during this time are, uh, are being thought of and taken care of. And, and you guys are being flexible with how businesses are having to be flexible. So uh, yeah, thank yeah. you for all your thank work. You. No, we appreciate it. And however we can help, I appreciate the chambers helping us get the word out on this. And um, yeah, just reach out to us if you have any questions, concerns, or problems. Let me know. Where could they get you, John? So the best way to reach me is probably uh, just calling me, 216-584-0307. And then I'll, I answer my phone. I'll, I'll get back with you on that. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for uh, hopping on a Zoom with me and uh, talking all about this. I figured you could say it better than I could say it. So I leave right. it to the professionals. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, have a great day and hang in there. All right. You too. All right. Be well. We'll see you. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye.